almost like yeah, God is. Yeah, yeah. God yeah. is the joy and the strength of yeah. my life. God he is. is my all in all. He because he lives, you can add the rest That's to right. that. Because he lives. That's Let's it. go to St. John 11. Because Jesus lives. Happy right. Easter, everybody. St. John 11, love you all. St. John 11, 23 through 27. We know about Jesus' yes. friend Lazarus, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how he raised him from the dead. But before he raised him from the dead, those sisters had some questions. Yeah, they did. They did. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But we're going to start um, at verse 23. All right. No, let's go to 21. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. Jesus saith unto her, thy brother shall rise again. Martha saith unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. All right. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection. Amen. Those that are dealing with grief and sorrow today. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Right. Believest thou this? Yes. If we believe in Jesus, yes. if we believe that he died and he rose again, yes. we also have to believe that those that sleep or die in Jesus, he will bring them with him. He will, he will, he will. And saints and people of God, we don't sorrow as others that have no hope. No, no. Because we believe in the resurrection. Amen. The dead will rise first. Yeah. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet them in the air, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Matthew 28. We have a hope in Christ. We do. 1 Corinthians 15 lets us know that if in this life only right. we have hope in Christ, yes. we are of all men most miserable. Yes. But our hope is beyond this world, yes. beyond yes. this life. Yes. Jesus on the cross for the, he looked beyond the cross yes. to see the joy that was awaiting him. Yeah. And we have to do the same thing. Oh, yeah. Amen. Matthew 28, verse 16. Mm -hmm. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, mm -hmm. into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. You know, he told them when they were trying him and so forth. He said, No man take my life. I have power to lay it down. I've got power to take it back up again. He said, Go ye therefore. He sent them on assignment and teach all nations, oh, yes. baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, yeah. teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, Lord. I am with you oh, always, yes. even until the end of the world. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. And it, through the presence and the power of the Holy Ghost, yes. Yes. we can feel his presence. Yes. Can't you feel his presence. Amen. He's already here. He got up. An empty grave is there to prove our Savior lives. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go to St. Luke 24. St. Luke 24. You know, you're always going to have some doubters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But we have to be ready to give them an answer for the hope 
that we have in us. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. St. Luke 24. It's talking about the two, disi two disciples were on the Emmaus road. Mm -hmm. And Jesus appeared to them, yes. but their eyes were holding or they couldn't behold that it was Jesus. Right. And so they're walking along just talking. Yes. And in verse 17, and he said unto them, what manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as ye walk and are saying? And the one of them, whose name was Cleophas, answering, said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast not known the things which are come to pass there in these days? And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet, mighty indeed, and word before God and all the people, and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death, and have crucified him. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel. And beside all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, and certain women also of our company made us astonished, which were early at the supper. Yeah, the and when they found not his body, they came saying that he, they had also seen a vision of angels, mm -hmm. which said that he was alive. Mm -hmm. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulcher and found it even so as the women had said. But him they saw not. Then he said unto them, oh, My God, have mercy. Oh, fools, look at him. and slow of heart, slow heart, to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Oh, Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter in glory, right. enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures and things concerning himself. Yeah. And later on, he went on and opened their eyes, and yeah. they saw that it was yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. But unbelief, that's why without faith, it's impossible to please God. Yeah. Don't be faithless. We have to believe. Yeah. Let's go to St. John 20. But Jesus had to open their eyes so that they could see it was really him. That's why Jesus told them in St. John 14, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Don't believe the lie that there are many ways to God. There is only way, and that's through Jesus Christ. And he will, the Father will reveal Jesus to you. Yeah. That's the importance of hearing God's word. Yeah. How can they believe in somebody they have not heard about? And how can they hear without yeah. a preacher? Amen. All of us sitting up in here Amen. saved today, we have to hear the word uh, in order to be saved. <laughs> to get to know who Jesus is. Yes, yes, St. John 20. But because he lives. Yes, Lord. All right now. St. John 20. Yes, Lord. Verse 19. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, mm -hmm. where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst right. and saith unto them, Peace be unto you. Thank God for Jesus Christ. He is the Prince of yes. Peace. Yes, he is. And when he had so said, some people's minds are so troubled. You're yes. so burdened today. Yes. But yes. Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. <laughs> he said, my peace I give unto uh, you, not as the world giveth, right. give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Cast your burdens upon the Lord. He wants to lift you today. He cares. That's why we're told to cast all of our cares upon him. Because he cares for us. 
You need peace today. Oh, Give Lord. your heart to Jesus. Oh, yeah. Saints of God, people of God, you need peace today. Give it to Jesus. Put it in his hands. All in his hands. That's the song say. I put it all in his hands. This and that. I put it all in his hands. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 20. And when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. As my Father hath sent me, even so send I you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and saith unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Whosoever sins ye remit or forgive, they are remitted unto them. And whosoever sins ye retain, they are retained. Then Thomas, better known as Doubting Thomas, one of the twelve called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands right. the print of the nails, right. and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side. Right. We know when he was pierced in his side, out came blood and water. Yes, he yes. says, I will not believe. And after eight days again, his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Mm -hmm. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, in his resurrected body. Right. Jesus could right. walk right through doors right. and walls, right. and stood mm -hmm. in the midst and said, Peace right. be unto right. you. Thank you, Jesus. Right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We need his peace abiding in our hearts today and in our minds, in our souls, in our spirit today. That's true. Then said he to Thomas, reach hither thy finger and behold my hands and reach hither thy hand and thrust it into my side and be not faithless but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, my Lord and my God. Look at here, look at here. Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen right. and yet have believed. Well, We're blessed today, people thank of God, you, thank you, thank you. to have accepted the yeah. truth of God's word, yeah. to believe yeah. that he yeah. gave his only yeah. begotten yeah. son, yeah. That whosoever believeth in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes. And Jesus said in St. John 15, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man would lay down his life for his friends. Oh, yeah. What a friend mm -hmm. we have in Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us looking for love in all the wrong places. Yes. But what a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, yeah. All of our sins and griefs to bear. Oh, yeah. The psalm says, what a privilege, what a privilege. it is to carry yeah. Yeah. Everything, everything to God in prayer. Oh, thank you. Whatever it is today. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Oh, Lay it at the feet yeah. of Jesus. Oh, yeah. Lay it down. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Lord. No, Let's go to 1 Peter 1 and 3. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Because he lives. Because he lives. 1 Peter 1 and 3. It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively or a living hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that faded not away reserved in heaven for you oh, bless him, bless who him. are kept by the power of God. We can't keep ourselves oh, no. 
who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. How many of us know we're living in the last and evil yeah, days? Y'all yeah, yeah. been watching the news? Oh, yeah, uh -huh. They got rockets flying over in Israel, between Israel, Lebanon, and all over there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We're told in the in the word to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. But when you see all these things happening, he's very near. Even at the doors. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He's coming again so soon. Don't let him catch you with your works undone. Don't let him catch you in your sins. Thank you, Jesus. It says, wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, many-sided temptation on every hand, that the trial or the testing of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, ye love, and whom though now ye see him not yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Full of Thank you, Jesus. Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your soul. That song dropped on me this morning. Minister Rhea played it on, on her phone. After all the all things right. I've been through, all right. I still have I joy. Still have it. I still do. Right. Mm -hmm. I still you. have Hallelujah. joy. Yes, thank you. There's another song that says, This joy I have. Oh. The world didn't give it to me. The world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. There's nothing like the joy of Jesus. And the joy of the Lord, it is our strength. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you, Jesus. You know, when we were out in the world, we thought we were having a good time. That was happiness. But it was a joy. No, no. I'm talking about joy unspeakable yeah. and full glory that only yeah. comes from knowing Jesus Nobody Christ as Savior Hallelujah. and Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Thank you. Revelation yeah. 1. Thank you for the joy that we have. In Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's why we know sorrow is something yeah. that have no hope. Hallelujah. Okay. His grace truly is sufficient. You know, the scripture tells us in Romans to weep with those that weep. Rejoice with those that rejoice. We're not super human beings to where we don't ever weep. Jesus even wept even though he knew he was going to raise Lazarus. He wept. But just don't take on a spirit of grief. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Don't do it. Yeah. Okay, Revelation 1, mm -hmm. verses 12 through 18. We talked about this morning in the Sunday school how some people are talking about now Jesus was black and he was this or that. Jesus transcends color and race. The only thing we know is that he was Jewish. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Yeah. But you do yourself and others a disservice when right. you're banding about about my right. black Jesus and my right. come on people, Amen. don't do that. No, no. In his resurrected state, I'm going to describe what Jesus looked like. All right. All right. Revelation one twelve, and I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. We know Jesus was referred to sometimes as the Son of Man. Yes. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. And girded about the pats or the chest with a golden girdle or band. 
his head, and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, mm. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. That's Do you notice it don't say what color his face was? Yes, Notice that? Yes, and his feet like unto fine brass, mm -hmm. as if they burned in a furnace. And his voice as the sound of many waters. Okay. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went, went a sharp two-edged sword. Uh -huh. And his countenance was as the sun shining in his strength. His strength. It transcends color. Yeah, yeah. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. Oh. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Hallelujah. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Right. Because he lives. Yeah. Hallelujah. We can face tomorrow yeah. because he lives. All fear can be gone because we know he owes the future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. Thank you, Jesus. Almost done here. Let's go to Galatians 2 and verse 20. Because he lives. I'm so thankful today. He lives. He lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and he talks with me. Along life's narrow way. He lives. He lives. Salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives? Because he lives within my heart. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Behold, he stands at the door and knocks the door of your heart. All you have to do is open it up, open it wide, and just let him come in. Hallelujah. Galatians 2.20. The Apostle Paul says here, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're baptized, when you are born again, you get baptized. That symbolizes the death and the burial of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And that's Romans, the sixth chapter. But just like Christ rose from the dead, we are supposed to rise up and walk in newness of life. Yeah. We're not supposed to be involved in all of the old things that we used to do. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 15. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. 1 Corinthians 15. I quoted it earlier, but I'll read it. 1 Corinthians 15, 19, If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all died, even so, in Christ shall all be made alive. Thank you, Jesus. We know when um, Adam and Eve messed up in the garden, they died spiritually. Yes. From that point on, the only way to really have true life is to accept Jesus Christ. That's the only way back to the Father. We're going to end with 1 John 5. But St. John 10 and 10 says, The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Oh, yeah. You want a better life? Give your heart to Jesus. Oh, yeah. Even when you're going through sadness and yeah. sorrow and, yeah. and heartaches and so forth, you've got somebody to help you. Jesus said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Yeah. For I'm meek and lowly in heart and you shall find rest for your soul. Because he lives. 
Let Jesus fix it for you. Because he knows just what to do. Whenever you pray, let him have his way. And let Jesus lead you all the way. Let Jesus lead you. You won't go wrong. No, no. He ever lived to make intercession for us. Yes. Seated on the right hand of the Father. And I believe he's still saying, like he did from the cross, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. He ever lives to make intercession for us. That's why we can take it to the Lord in prayer. Because he lives. Mm. He can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, yes. our weaknesses. Yes. He knows how you feel. Oh, yes. He came to heal the broken heart. Yes. Oh, Lord. Thank, you, Jesus. Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Where is your hand? First John 5, 11, and 12. And I'm ending with that, Ashley. Thank God for you, praying for you. And this is the record. That God has given to us eternal life. Yes. And this life is in his son. Yes. He that hath the son hath life. And he that hath not the son of God hath not life. You heard me say, you don't know living until you get to know Jesus. That's it. Amen. Father God, I thank you for your thank word. You. Thank, mm. you, thank, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for making intercession for us. Thank you for loving us. Father God, thank you for loving us so much. You sent your son to die on a cool Roman cross. Thank you, Father God, for raising him up on the third day with all power. God, help us this day to cast our cares upon you. Thank you for caring for us, Lord. You're able, Lord God, to heal today. You're able to save today. You're able to deliver today. God, help us today to only believe. Only believe. Help us to believe in your only begotten Son. Help us today, Lord. Help us to live it out, to walk it out. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, be with our young people. Put a hedge of protection around them, Father God. Draw them to you, Father God. No man can come to you, Jesus, except the Father draws them. Draw them by your spirit, Father God. Lord, let your word, let your word, let your word resonate in their hearts and minds and in their spirit, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we'll be careful to give your name all the praise, the honor, and the glory. I pray for the convicting power of the Holy Ghost, oh God, oh God, to come upon them now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, who love you, Jesus. Help us, Lord, to be ready. Help us, Father, to be ready when Jesus comes. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whatever is accomplished, we'll be careful to give your name all the praise, honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all oh, fear is gone. Because I know. Yes, he holds the future. Yes, Life is worth the living yes. because he lived. Happy Resurrection Day to yes, all of our Lord. viewers out in TV land, yes, Facebook territory. Yes. We are so grateful. <laughs> YouTube viewing. Yes. We're grateful to God for this yes. Resurrection Day yes, we as are. we have our conference call number. But we're so grateful that he lives today. Yes, he does. So you live to call us at 667-770-1373. That's that's code number is 274-47 pound. We are there on Tuesdays from 12 to 1 for prayer. Wednesday, Bible study at 6 o'clock. Yes. And Friday night, that same conference number, praise and worship and a message from the Lord. Yes. So if he lives, if he
your heart. Give us a call. God bless you until we see you again. Praise the Lord.